Hi, I am Kieran from Lion Gate Farm, and I am going to teach you some basic felting today. We're going to make some little star ornaments. It's a very beginner needle felting project. And if you want, um, you can make them single-sided and make them into a pin to wear on your coat. Single -sided. This is a great project for kids. It's a great project for anyone who's just starting out with needle felting. So in your kit, there is a felting surface that you will need. And there are, uh, uh, there's a package of 38 star needles. These are my favorite needles, they're purple on the top. And we're going to use a cookie cutter. It's in the kit. And then we have lots of colors of wool. So you can make purple and green and blues, aquas. You can basically pick any color you want. Each bundle will make a couple of stars. So this kit will make a whole bunch of ornaments. And then you have your white for your snowman, your black for your accents, and your orange for their noses. This is Coriadale wool. This is not wool that I raise here on the farm with my own sheep because this is the easiest wool to use for felting. And this white has a little bit of sparkle in it because snowmen are sparkly in the snow. And again, more Coriadale. So we're going to start with the cookie cutter. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit. We're gonna make an aqua colored star like this to start. And your felting needle has barbs I know you're not going to be able to see in this video, but you can feel them. Basic felting rule is you want to go straight in and straight out. If you go straight in and you bend into your surface, it's going to break your needle. Um, you don't want to break your needles because you need them. Your felting surface serves a purpose of protecting you, protecting your surface, your, the surface you're working on. And something for the needle to land into. Needles are very, very sharp. You don't want to poke yourself. Um, if this is an activity that you're doing with children, you want to supervise the children. Um, there's also a skewer that is in your kit and we're going to use that to push our wool in. So this is roving. Roving is wool that's been combed into straight lines. And we're going to tear off a little piece. And we're going to stuff it in here stuff it into our little cookie cutter. This is where you use your skewer because you want to get it in the corners. I like to fill up the whole star. Just keep tearing off little pieces, stuffing it in. And you probably are going to ask, why am I using a cookie cutter? Well, that's going to give you a really nice star shape to begin with. Let me get this cookie cutter all filled up. It's hard to get your shapes perfect when you're first starting out with needle felting. We're gonna fill it all the way to the top. And your star will not be this fat when it's done. It will come out like this. And then once you have it all the way full, you're going to take your needle and you're going to start to poke straight in and straight out. And I like to go around the edges. Now, you don't have to stab it so hard that it goes into the surface because only this much of your needle is really working. You just need to keep poking. And this part takes a little bit. You can see it's starting to compact. Make sure you get all the stray pieces of wool in there. At this point, you want to make sure you're getting those tips of the star in so you're going to be able to get the pointy part of the star to form. You can go fast, you can go slow, it is not a race. I 
they tend to move a little faster. I've been felting for a really long time, like years and years and years. And now, if you notice, the star has become attached to my felting pad. So you're going to want to slide it off a little bit and then flip it over and then start from this side. That way we're felting the, both sides. You can see the wool starting to compact down. I like the star to be like a third of the thickness of the cookie cutter when it's finished. And you're just gonna keep poking. Now, if I took this off, I can show you. It's not ready to come off. It's still pretty fluffy. You can see this is still pretty fluffy. And if you accidentally take it off, don't worry. You can just poke it back in and keep going. You know, it can get boring, but I find the sound of the needle into the pad somewhat soothing. Or you can think about somebody you don't like and that you're poking them with a sharp needle. It's a very satisfying process. You want to get the edges really good. You want to get along these edges so that they aren't all fuzzy. And we'll touch them up later. Make sure you're going across. Flip it over again. You can see it's starting to get solid. We're starting with this video because it's the easiest thing that there is. So now we have a star. Take this, take this off. And then you're going to move. You can keep poking it. You can work on these edges very carefully so you don't poke yourself. I tend to get nitpicky and keep working them and working them and working them until they're pretty solid. But you don't have to. It's pretty easy. So then we're going to take our star. We're going to take some white with the sparkly and we're going to tear a piece off and if you want to we're going to make this snowman head and if you want to you can draw a line with your needle poking it in and out in the shape of a half a circle so you know where you're going and then you're going to start adding in your white Now, I don't want you to get frustrated if some of these sparklies don't felt in very well. That sparkly fiber is called Angelina, and it doesn't like to felt unless it has wool to attach it to. And now my whole star is going to disappear here for a minute because I'm working on that half circle. You're going to notice I'm, I'm using my needle sideways, but I'm still going straight in and straight out. So now I'm going to find this center point. Doesn't look like much right now. Gonna keep poking where I know the star is. And then we're gonna 
wrap the fiber around. Don't worry about the ends. Hold on one second. One thing you may want to have is some scissors so that you can do this. It'll make it easier for you to wrap your star. Poke it into the sides. It looks messy right now, but it will come together. Whenever you're felting, what you're making will look crazy until you're done. Because we are going to felt the snowman on the backside too. You can see his head is starting to take shape. And on the back side, you can flip it over and kind of start working this fiber into a half moon for the back side of his head. You can see the star starting to reappear. Now you, you can work the edges. Again, notice I'm not stabbing it all the way into my felting surface. That surface that I'm working on is only to protect my table. So I'm not stabbing my table. And a word of caution, if you're going to do this while we're watching TV, make sure that you stop poking if you look at the TV. So I have a little bare spot here. I can still see the blue. I'm going to tear off some more fiber, wrap it around, get it in here. You want to keep adding fiber until you can't see the color that's underneath. This side just gets naturally colored, covered by everything that's coming from the front side. Still see blue through there. I'm gonna wrap that around. Let's do this edge. This is like that song, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? We're going to build a snowman. A two-headed one. I'm sure everybody has a star cookie cutter in their cabinet. So if you already have wool fiber and felting tools, you can go grab that star cookie cutter and try and make one of these. Again, I'm working these edges to get them nice and smooth. So the more you poke it, 
the smoother it's going to become. My star is starting to emerge again. It's probably safer if you work those edges up against the surface. Or you'll poke yourself like I just did. Once you get this all in here, you have to decide if you want your snowman on the left, which is where I like them. I don't know why. And you're going to take a little bit of orange. When I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. With felting, it's better to start with a little and add. You can always add, but you can't take away. We're just going to poke in a little triangle here for his carrot. You can go straight in, straight out, even if you're working at an angle. I'm trying to get all those stray little orange fibers into the little triangle. And it's a little bare right here, so I'm gonna add some more. My kit will have instructions and it will have little shapes that you can compare to your star so you can know exactly how big to make them. The eyes and the mouth are subjective. Some people, you can put one eye or you can put two. I like to poke where my eyes are going to be and where my mouth's going, where my mouth's going to be. And then we're gonna take just a few little fibers. I can't emphasize that enough, how small of amount of fibers that you need to make a mouth. And you're going to just poke them into that little smile you drew with your needle. When you're putting on your eyes and your mouth, you don't want to poke too deep. You don't want to poke all the way through because they'll show up on the other side and hopefully they're in the right spot. Make two little balls by rolling them in your fingers. Hopefully they're the same size. We're going to poke them on. snowman on this side. We can go back and tighten all this fiber up. And we're going to go to this side 
And see what I said? You can see where those black fibers came through because I went a little deep. So let's add a nose first. Drawing that triangle. Again, this is a beginner kit. It is suitable for kids. I tested it with a seven-year-old last week and it was great. When kids start to needle felt, they can lose attention span pretty quick. And this one's fast enough that they did that she didn't. And I'm gonna I'm going to put the eyes in the same place that the ones on the other side are at. So if you don't make a whole ball, you can just poke them in. Kind of gather your fibers up with the end of your needle. Your needle. We didn't make his smile yet. Again, the amount of fiber you need for the smile is very small. So I don't like his nose. I'm going to add a little bit more. And remember, nobody knows what it was supposed to look like but you. So it's going to be cute no matter how it comes out. And there you have it. It's how to make a snowman ornament. And... I will probably spend a little time tightening all this up. Make it a little tighter. If you want it to hang, you'd put a little hanger right through here where my fingers are. That's all we have for today. It's one little snowman ornament. You can make purple ones and green ones and the sky's the limit on the colors. And you can string them together and make a little garland. It's pretty fun. Anyways, that's all, all we have for today. Watch for more videos coming soon. And we'll get a little bit more complex and maybe do some videos that have multi-parts.